Hey guys, it's Fezzy back with another blog post coverage video. And I gotta tell you, every single one of these blog posts gets me more and more excited for this game. Anyway, let's jump into this blog post, shall we? It's titled, An Overview of Hytale's Server Technology, and its purpose is to introduce you to the tech that supports every Hytale server there is. The first section is titled Languages and Performance, and the biggest takeaway is that Hytale's client is written in C Sharp, which is a general purpose programming language, and the servers will run on Java, which is another general purpose programming language. It is also mentioned that the topic of in-game scripting will be discussed in a future post. You may be wondering, why they chose Java for their servers. Well, as stated in the blog post, for one, our backend team is very comfortable writing high-performance Java, and that has let us heavily optimize our server code. Furthermore, we know that our community has a lot of experience with Java too. It is important to us that it is easy as possible for server operators to get up and running. They also explained the reasoning for using C Sharp for the client language, stating that using C Sharp for the client provides additional performance performance benefits, and we're happy about the results we've seen so far. The next section, Shared Source Servers, says that the server technology provided will be shared source, which means everyone will be able to read the server code, but the game client will be closed as to try to prevent cheaters and set a baseline for players and server operators. This also provides a shared foundation for modders and content creators alike. A massive chunk of info from this section is this. In effect, this shared source system means that it is possible for servers to run a modified version of the game grounded in a client that is common to every player. Every server represents its creator's vision for the game, and because server operators have a consistent platform to build upon, it is straightforward for players to jump between wildly different experiences. When you connect to a Hytale server, the client will automatically download all of the content needed in order to play. Models, animations, sounds, and everything else. Something that immediately pops into mind with a similar system is many source games, like Gmod, TF2, and Counter-Strike, that download modifications the server has before you join them. This system is great because every server can have their very own completely custom systems, aesthetics, mechanics, and players never need to go through the hassle of manually installing them. What you see on screen is the way this system will look when installing the server assets for you. Also, something to point out is the direct connect at the very beginning of the clip. The next section discusses the UI of the Servers tab. The UI will feature an extensive filter list that lets you sort your searches for things like game modes, co-op or competitive type, and language support. Server owners will also be able to utilize tagging to further optimize your chosen demographic, as well as custom banners and graphics for their listing. Players can also favorite servers and the server list can be sorted by favorites to find the most popular servers. Server operators will also need to adhere to a lightweight terms of service, and they also briefly mentioned that your server doesn't need to appear on the server list to be joinable, but it's more likely that's the way most players will find and join servers. The section of playing with friends also has some really great info. It mentions the addition of a friends list, and the way players will connect to each other is through UPNP or universal plug and play. If UPNP is unavailable, then they utilize NAT punch through. This basically eliminates the need of port forwarding and if you have ever ran a personal server on Minecraft, you know how touchy port forwarding can be. So this feature will eliminate a lot of headache in the future. Thanks for that Hytale. The final section of this blog is titled A Platform to Build On, and it reads out as such. We've poured everything we've learned into more than six years of running game servers for millions of players into Hytale server technology. Our ambition is to eventually implement solutions to all of the difficulties that we've encountered over the years, to anticipate these issues that players and server operators may face, and have answers for them. We're looking forward to working closely with the community, and we'll be reaching out to ensure that we factor in your requirements and ideas. Another great blog post from Hytale. I hope you guys are as excited as we are to get our hands on this amazing game. And also, make sure to check out our Discord server down in the description below if you would like to. The community is active and amazing, and we talk about everything Hytale and more in that server, so go check it out and go have some fun. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on our notification bells so you never miss a future video, and as always, signing off, Fezzy the Frog.